Hey, Crossroads Church, this is Pastor Marcus. Just wanting uh, to give you an update on the Christmas project that's taking place there in Guatemala. Uh, Pastor Natalie and four of the ladies met up with our missionary, Chad uh, Bader, this week. And actually, they're there right now. Um, and they're celebrating Christmas in four of the villages in the area where they are serving there locally. Um, man, over 90 families, over 600 kids plus are hearing about the story of Christ. And Natalie's telling me that our ladies are all an emotional wreck. They've just been ministered to, loved on as they are loving. Their hearts are so full as they continue to pour out of themselves to love on the families in that country. So I'm so happy for them. And of course, Natalie told me that um, a little pastor's son who fell in love with her hasn't left her side. And she sent me a pic and I was like, man, I know that feeling, babe. And so make sure and love on him. But um, we'll give you a more detailed report. Hopefully they'll share their story maybe on Christmas Eve. But thank you for responding to the Christmas offering again this year. For those of you who do not know and have recently been attending Crossroads, which is several of you, every year we receive two offerings, uh, an Easter offering, which is primarily used for in-house projects and benevolence that we have need of here in the area. And um, the the Christmas offering, though, all of it, 100% of it's used for outreach purposes, either in our city or around the world. And this year, we decided that our two objectives would be this Christmas in Guatemala to minister to those. Well, that's where Crossroads was instrumental in planting a church during uh, the COVID epidemic. And the second objective is a special needs ministry that we plan on beginning in 2024. There are families who have children with special needs that are attending crossroads like autism and or disorders or that make physical activity challenging or, or physical differences like amputated limbs or dwarfism, different things like that. In order to minister to those, um, those children uh, effectively, we are renovating our current office space and converting it in order to minister to their needs in the most effective manner. Uh, God's already brought some folks who, who love doing that. And I am believing God for $40,000 to come in total so that we can complete these projects and continue to bring a real God to real people in our local community and around the world. So we just wanted to say, man, thank you guys for making a difference. Uh, we never ask for people to give a certain amount. We just ask that 100% of you participate. So uh, let me encourage you again to go with your family, get your kids involved and pray and pray. Ask the spirit of God to lead you and uh, obey his prompting. And we're going to be receiving that offering here in uh, this next weekend and Christmas Eve. And also just want to remind you about Christmas Eve that we um, are beginning three services on Christmas Eve. And then we're also having a candlelight service downtown at Central Park. But our three services begin on Sunday at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. And our candlelight service will begin at 6 p.m. at Central Park downtown Seguin. Man, our traditional candlelight service, it's just a time for families from our community to come together and read scripture, sing songs, and pray for our city. I'm going to be sharing a story about a vision the Lord gave me when, in my early 20s regarding this particular city. Uh, city. And uh, it goes something like, man, as you, as you pray, more light will come. So really encourage you to bring your families and your friends. Come out and celebrate with us. You can help by bringing one or two dozen of cookies as well, preferably chocolate chip. But either way, man, thank you, Crossroads Church. Natalie and I are so thankful to God. We are so blessed. Pastor Joel and Jeremiah absolutely love uh, being your pastors. So let's finish strong in 2023, and let's continue to, to bring a real God to real people in our city. Love you. Have a great day.